What is going on, everybody? We are here in the wonderful town, city, township. I don't know. It's pretty small, but we'll call it a city of Elmira, Ontario. And I was here at this skate park right after it was open, and uh, I actually broke my scaphoid on my left uh, hand. So scaphoid is like this little bone in your wrist, and it sucks to break. And when you're older, it sucks even more because it just doesn't heal very well. There's not a lot of blood flow to it, and uh, mine didn't heal very well, and I almost ended up getting my wrist fused. That's what happens if that bone dies in your wrist. They just fuse your wrist. So. I was in a cast for six months after this stupid fall. And uh, as you can see behind me, this bowl is fucked. The bowl is fucked, are you kidding me? Holy. And this is sort of an extension of our conversation we had last week about, you know, places that don't build parks right and then it's just a fucking giant waste of money and how's the city gonna feel about reinvesting money into a skate park? when the first time failed. Look at this, man. Look at this mess. There's just, it's, it's unskatable. It's not like there's one little puddle in there that I could skate around. It is unskatable. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a clip in now of when I was here, when this place opened. Um, the way I had the camera positioned, uh, you don't actually see the fall. I just go down and you can hear some groans in the background from the, the crew of guys I was with. But over there is a little death box, super cool, and I actually did a rock and roll board slide over the death box, and I really enjoyed this bowl. The, the, the coping's nice, everything's really nice about it, except for the fact that it is virtually unskatable now. So I don't know, maybe mid-summer, like when there's not a lot of groundwater, this will dry up and it's skatable, but what can you do? But we're gonna hit Elmira, and I actually, when I broke my wrist, it was before I skated the street uh, section, so that's cool. I get to actually try the street section today, and I didn't last time. And don't get to skate the bowl today, but let's put this clip in now of me skating the bowl, and you can see what it looks like. Not the best, but we'll take it. The scooter kids are showing up. It's 8.30, that's why you gotta get out early. It's enough of Elmira anyway. Let's head over to Waterloo. Right, 
right, we are here at the Albert McCormick Community Center, correct? That's yes. where we are at? Yep. It's my good buddy Bob, I've mentioned Bob before. This is your home turf, my friend. This You've skated my, this a lot, eh? This is my home park. I live right there. Beautiful. <laughs> so, right across the street. I can see when there's nobody here and come over and, you know. How many of you guys live across the street from a skate park, man? That is gold. <laughs> that is gold. Yeah, so it's more of like a little plaza style, but this place looks pretty cool. It looks fun. Pavement looks, or the concrete is smooth as a baby's bottom. So, yeah, let's check this place out. I'll take you for the tour, show you the skate park first, and then let's hit some lines up. Yeah, and then we'll see if we can find Animal Chin. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take on this park? You like this park? You've skated it. This is the home turf for you, man. This is home turf. For, yeah, I love the park. The only the only thing I think the city should do is is put some grass here instead of the dirt. Yeah, man. Because uh, the, when the dirt comes onto the park, then it's not really skatable. But and you know, I get it. I get it. The cities want to make a park that looks like visually pleasing, so they like to landscape it out. But like when you're using mulch. <laughs> or using pebbles, I've seen that too. That stuff just migrates into the park and the next thing you know, the park is a death trap full of little pebbles and, and wood chips and you just hit that, man. We all know, you hit that with your wheel. Yeah. Pew! You're flying. Taking a header for sure. But it's, it's, a, it's a really nice park and I think that the, the grass would look just as nice. Oh, the grass would look even better, and man. it would be a better, you know, be a better way also for skaters to, you know, for for them if they're leaving the park and they have to you know land somewhere outside <laughs> of the park it's a softer landing it's a nicer landing without all the dirt too so. yeah man well that's it episode five and there are so there are so many more episodes this year <laughs> there's a lot of driving left to do and a lot of parks left to hit but that's it for this episode and hopefully this has inspired you to maybe come down and check out bob's home park here in waterloo there's another one but I hit that in the first season. So if you want to see the other Waterloo Park, go back to the very first episode of the entire series, episode one, season one, and you can see what else I got here. But that's it. I got to head the road and head home. So we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for coming out, Bob. Skate or die. <laughs>